Welcome to this video on using Netford DPI data in SolarWinds Orion. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netford. So first up, let me introduce you to the network setup here. So I've got a single core switch which connects some routers to remote sites. Also we've got servers which are not shown in this diagram and some clients connecting via eight switches. I've got a single internet pipe and to monitor this network I'm using SolarWinds Orion NPM and I've also got the SolarWinds NTA product installed. Connected to a span port on the core switch I've got Netfort Langardian running. So here's its own interface here. So I've got it connected to the core, use it, it's using a span port and it's doing deep packet inspection. The Langardian is an ideal product if you want to identify traffic between users and applications as it sits at the core so it sees the traffic going to users and back to the servers. What I want to do now is investigate what is happening on the internet connection. So I've just created a link here off this network diagram. So brings us to this page here. So all of this data on this first tab is sourced from NetFlow. So what's it telling us? Well I do see that over the past hour, hour there's been some peaks in internet use. If I look at the detail I can see traffic over port 80 339 megabytes, some SSL traffic and small amounts of others. But port 80 traffic here looks like it's using most bandwidth. But take a look at the right hand side, I just want to try and understand more about that traffic. I see traffic associated with CloudFront, 64 megabytes, and other strange domains that I'm not familiar with. Most of these look to be CDN networks like Linode and Akamai and CloudFront. The other observation I have is that the totals here don't really match up with the total amount of traffic over port 80. So it could be here that there are applications that are sharing port 80 or HTTP tunneling, which is why maybe I don't see them here. Uh, further down in the conversations I see connections between the uh, client on the network and an external IP. Looks like a lot of data is associated with that one. Also the CloudFront one there is 64 megabytes. And other external IPs, not entirely sure what they are. So I'm starting to get an understanding, especially by looking at the graphic here, but I need more detail because I don't really understand what the users are doing. And to do that, let's go to the DPI powered by Netfor tab and take a look at the DPI data. So what what is it telling us? Well it also is reporting 300 and something megabytes there of HTTP traffic. There's also flash media traffic there, some secure HTTP, secure IMAP, small amounts of other data. But on the right hand side here it starts to really make a lot more sense because what I see is a lot of the bandwidth usage here has been, it's down to Windows Update. Also people on Google, Netflix.com, YouTube, Microsoft. So these are the actual domain names that the users are visiting. So Windows Update here, we also have the option to drill down. So how many systems are running Windows Update? Well actually two systems on the network. The laptop here in particular is pulling down a lot of hit, a lot of pages or a lot of updates. And you can keep drilling down and get more and more detail. So you can even see in here the, the actual URIs that are being accessed. Let's take a look at another example of that. So we have activity here associated with netfor.com. Let's drill down single machine accessing the site. So we see some pages being accessed, also the CDN activity here. Let's take a look at that. So we now we can see the laptop, the host name, the destination, which happens to be CloudFront, the CDN, the actual domain name that the user clicked on, and what are they accessing? They're accessing an ISO, which that accounts for the bandwidth usage. And we also can see in some of these reports the username as well, so Bill, it's Bill's laptop. So I now understand a lot more clearly where all of my bandwidth is going. And I can now see the users, I can see what services they're accessing, and I also can see what type of downloads. In this case they're downloading an ISO, in other cases there we could see uh, Windows updates being downloaded. So with a combination with the DPI data in SolarWinds Orion, I can really understand bandwidth usage, especially on an internet pipe. 
because of the challenges that internet traffic poses for things like NetFlow. As I mentioned, HTTP tunneling, also issues with dynamic ports and things like BitTorrent can do, use a lot of different ports. So there are applications out there that are not well identified by NetFlow and deep packet inspection is the answer to that. If you want to find out more about our integration pack for Solomon's Orion, please go to our website at netfort.com.